Hi, and welcome to the Holly C Podcast, a show about expressing your brilliance with ease and flow. I'll show you how to take the woo-woo out of the clouds and apply it to real life for effortless action. This show is for world changers and future world changers. So if you know there's more to life and you're wondering what's next, this is your show. Hi, I'm Holly, your host. I'm a speaker, author, teacher of health, vitality, and spirituality, and also a dragon spirit guide. Today's episode is about pivoting. This is for those of you who are on a particular track, let's say, and you're finding it hard to continue on that track, and it's time to pivot. Only for some reason, you're finding it hard to pivot. So listen in to today's episode and you'll discover why you're having trouble shifting gears and what you need to do to move in the right direction. Then the number one reason why we get stuck in a groove that may not necessarily be the quote unquote right groove for us is because of complacency. It's easy, it's inertia, it's comfortable, you know what's going on. And what leads us to complacency, but our minds, the heart and soul do not lead you to complacency. It's the mind. It likes to have everything the same. It likes to have everything planned out, everything in control, but your heart and soul, they're the ones that are pulling you off the groove. It might feel a little bumpy, like a train coming off its tracks, but the heart and soul know that you do not need to be a train. It's the mind that's stuck in thinking that you're a train. But the heart and soul are like, maybe you could be an airplane, a helicopter, an eagle soaring in the sky, or something that you can't even imagine right now that has yet to be invented, or that exists in a fantasy world. And then that triggers your mind. Fantasy means not true, not real must stay on the track, must be a heavy train going in one direction only. To help you pivot, we're going to enter the dragon spirit space because this is the best place to be where your mind is on a little bit of a hiatus. So it's not gone, but it is ironically under control (laughs) where it can be quiet and allow the voice of your heart and soul to speak, allow you to hear them. They're speaking often, all the time. But the mind has a loud voice that drowns it out. In the dragon spirit space, I hold space for you to hear your heart and soul, to quiet the mind and reveal the wisdom from within, from your connection with your dragon spirit. So everybody has a dragon spirit. It's that voice inside that craves adventure, exploration, and also knows the wisest, most expansive answers to your deepest and simplest questions. Dragon spirit isn't an entity or spirit outside of yourself. It's your connection to the universe. It is your inner guidance, your highest guidance, your intuition, that voice within. So to enter the dragon spirit space, we're going to take three dragon breaths. You're going to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And if you feel like letting out a sigh or sound like a ha after as you're breathing out, feel free to do so. So place your hand on your heart. And let's begin. Breathe in through your nose. And breathe out. And again, in through your nose. And out. And once more, in through your nose. And out. When you are hmm, stuck in a track, You are resisting change and growth. You are resisting a new direction, a shift in direction, and growth and expansion. Hmm. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out. Ah. There's a reason why there's the phrase growing pains. It's not just mm, to describe a child growing and their limbs growing so fast that they feel some aches and pains. This phrase also captures what you experience. 
It's an expression of your experience of growth, growing pains. Hmm. The other day I saw an internet meme about being an artist and the meme said, being an artist requires two things. And the photo was a picture that someone had taken where it said art supplies and paint. Only the word paint, the T was covered up by another sign. So it said art supplies and pain. Breathe in through your nose and just breathe out naturally. And if you want, you can rest your hand in your lap. No need to keep it on your heart. So think about that. We make jokes about hmm, creative expression requiring art supplies and pain. We often experience pain as we grow, not physical pain, not usually, although hmm, that could be a whole other podcast topic because many of you actually do experience physical pain during periods of growth, not in the way you would expect though. Hmm. We'll leave that for a future episode, Hmm. but there is an episode on it and I'll share more about that after we exit the dragon spirit space. Take a deep breath in again. Easy, natural breath out. Hmm. Why is pain a part of growth? Why do we experience growing pains? It's because of resistance from the mind. As things change, things are changing and the mind, of course, freaks out. Things are no longer in control. Things are no longer planned out perfectly. The whole dynamic upon which the mind exists and has carefully constructed hmm, this fortress to justify its existence, to validate its existence, the whole fort is crumbling down around it. So of course the mind is resisting. Breathe in through your nose and breathe out easy, relaxed breaths. Ask your mind, is it necessary to resist so much? Many of you, the answer is a very big yes, yes, yes. For many of you, the answer is a very big yes. Your mind is cheering in the stands going, yes, 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 yes. It is necessary to resist. Hmm. Now, there's another part of us, another aspect of the mind, the one that seeks growth that says resistance is bad. Because I'm resisting, I'm a bad person. I am not spiritual. I'm not growing. I'm not expanding. I'm resisting. I'm going backwards. Breathe in through your nose and breathe out. Hmm. So every time hmm, when you're on that train track and you're wanting to pivot, you're going through the same song and dance of resistance, your mind kicking and screaming along the way, and another part of your mind kicking and screaming because it's kicking and screaming. And for those of you who are really into your minds, with very powerful minds, very analytical, very intelligent, very sharp on the ball. Your mind is resisting the resisting of the resisting. It's freaking out because it's freaking out because it's freaking out. Hmm. Ponder that. Breathe in through your nose and breathe out. Hmm. Now you can add even more layers of resistance and judgment, judgment to the resistance, resistance to the judgment and the resistance, resistance to the judgment of the judgment of the resistance and judgment, and on and on and on. Breathe in through your nose. Hmm. Just then, the cat started meowing. Another one of the cat joining the dragon spirit episodes. Hmm, at the appropriate time, because we were talking about resistance. Hmm, mind, my mind was trying to control by keeping the door to the office shut so that the cat could not come in and make sounds. But what happened? The cat started meowing outside of the door. Resistance. Now, I could have continued resisting by leaving the cat outside of the door, but instead I got up and opened the door. The cat walked into the room, 
all is calm and quiet. Pivoting is that easy. It's actually harder to not pivot because then your mind is busy judging the resistance, resisting the resistance, judging the resistance of the resistance, resisting the judgment of the resistance of the resistance, etc., etc. It takes up a lot of energy. Pivoting is simply just pivoting. Do you realize pivoting is not difficult? Do you see how easy it is? That's what we want you to understand now. The only difficulty is all the judgment and resistance. The actual act of pivoting is easy. And on that note, we will exit the dragon spirit space with three dragon breaths. Place your hand on your heart. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Ha. <sighs> Again, in through your nose and out through your mouth. Ha. <sighs> and again, in through your nose and out through your mouth. Ha. <sighs> and before I forget, I want to share that episode with you about resistance in your body when you're feeling things going on. Physically, could even be physical pain, headaches, joint pain, knee pain, things that you feel in your body because you're resisting a new direction. So look up episode 34 if this is something that resonates with you. And episode 34 is called Letting Go of Resistance in Your Body. And Dragon Spirit is actually giving me a little nudge to share with you a story about what I've been going through recently with a little bit of resistance and suddenly all this ease and flow through pivoting. So I've been trying to launch a dragon spirit circle and that actually is moving forward. But because of limits on my time, I'm a full-time mom, there was another thing I wanted to launch too. And there were the signs from the universe that I should do this. It's basically a mentoring program for entrepreneurs who want to express their brilliance with ease and flow and grow their business with ease and flow. And I had to choose between the two and I decided to do the circle just because of the limits on my time. And so I've been working on the circle and the very first circle is actually going to launch on March 20th on the full moon and the equinox. So very powerful day for that energetically. And I thought, okay, let's just continue on that. So it was like I was a train on this track heading towards creating this circle. And I sort of put the idea of the business mentoring aside, figuring, oh, I don't know when I'll do that. Might be a few months from now. I woke up this morning and I had this sense to get up, do some journaling where I basically chit chat with my dragon spirit through writing. And the word that jumped out this morning was pivot. You need to pivot. You need to launch this mentoring because it's going to have the greatest impact for the planet. And there's two ways that's happening. One is to help those of you who feel a higher calling to make a difference, to create your own soul centered business, to help heal, to help people heal, to help people grow, expand, to raise consciousness and to support our planet. I need to help you grow and get your message out into the world. And at the same time, I've started volunteering for an environmental organization and I'm finding it hard to find the time to support them. But it's so important to me because of all the changes we're seeing with the weather and Mother Earth. And there's still time to make a difference. That I wholeheartedly believe. But I can't expect other people to contribute, make a difference, participate if I'm not doing so. So I came up with this brilliant way to work on this environmental project 
and also mentor soul entrepreneurs, soul as in S-O-U-L, not just soul, S-O-L-E. And I thought, great, fantastic, brilliant. But then I delayed it. I was stuck in this track, like the train had to go this way, only had this much time, blah, blah, blah. And when I pivoted, it was so simple as simplifying things and listening to my dragon spirit. And suddenly it was like, do this, do this, do this, this, this. And I realized I have tons of time. It's not as difficult as my mind made it out to be. It will not be as quote unquote perfect as my mind would like things to be when I get started, but that's okay. Guess what? It never is perfect. You just go. And speaking of perfection, I have a couple of podcast episodes on perfection. If perfectionism is your Achilles heel. So if perfectionism stops you from moving forward, take a listen to episodes 30 and 31. They're on letting go of perfectionism. And there's a part one and part two, (laughs) probably a part three in the future too. So uh, some of you might be wondering, okay, tell me more about this business mentoring thing. No, I'm not going to tell you on the podcast. You can go to my website. If you go and it happens to be up, then you'll know about it. And if it's not up, then I haven't got it set up yet. And it's imperfect and that's okay. So while there might not be something up on the website yet, if you do sign up for my newsletter at hollyc.com, sign up for the weekly wisdom, I will definitely share details soon. And also on my ChineseFootReflexology.com blog. If you're on my newsletter, I'll be sending out details to my newsletter there too. Okay, so your action plan after listening to this podcast is to take a look at your life and figure out where are you acting like a train? Where are you fixed on the track? Where do you want to actually jump tracks and realize You actually want to just not be a train anymore. And then quiet your mind, take a few breaths, and ask your heart and soul, how can you pivot? And whatever comes up, that's the way to do it. And one more message that I'm getting from Dragon Spirit to convey to you is that even if you have a lot of resistance, that's okay. Don't try to make the resistance completely disappear. It's something to be celebrated, to acknowledge your mind for its intention and its inventiveness. Its intention is to protect you, to keep you safe, to look out for you. Its inventiveness is in the ways it tries to keep things the same. Admire your mind, appreciate your mind, love your mind. And on that note, that's the end of today's episode. Thank you so much for listening to the Holly C show, express your brilliance with ease and flow. And you can find every episode on my website at www.hollyc.com. Thanks again for listening. And I look forward to when we reconnect again. Bye.